graders. Um, in this video, I'm going to be showing you the rubric that you're going to be using to edit and revise your mission reports. And there's a couple new documents on the Google Classroom that you're going to use to upload pictures of your mission project that you were working on, as well as editing and revising your final written report. So let's take a look. Okay, so here we are in the Google Classroom. I'm going to go to classwork and scroll down until I see social studies. You will see that I added two new documents and these two new documents are really, really important. So listen up. This first document here says new mission report and rubric. If you click on that and open it up, you're going to see something that looks like this. Unless you already started typing your report. If you started typing your report in the old document, which is here, then I copied everything that you typed on that report and I put it into this new mission report. I just copied and pasted it right in there for you. If you have not started typing your mission report, you're going to type it on this new document. And I'm going to show you why it's a little different. So this document, this is the exact same as it was on the old document, except at the bottom, if you scroll down, is the rubric. And this is the rubric that you're going to use to edit and revise your mission report this week. So I'm gonna go ahead and go through this mission report rubric with you. What you are looking at at this rubric is you can get one point, two points, or three points for each section. You always want to look over at the highest point amount because that is what you're trying to get. Um, at the very end, you'll notice that it's out of 27 points. So your goal is to have everything on your mission report within this three point column. So the first section is grammar using correct spelling, correct use of nouns and verbs. Next is structure and mechanics. Complete sentences that make sense. That means that you do not have any run-on or fragmented sentences. The next section is capitalization and punctuation. So that means that you are correctly capitalizing the names of the mission, the names of any people that you wrote about in your report, specific places, first letter of sentences, and using correct punctuation throughout your um, paragraphs. Next is your founding paragraph, history paragraph, description paragraph, and present day paragraph. You'll notice that the three point column is basically the same. And that's saying that you restated each of the founding, um, history, description, or present day questions from the research page and answered them with a researched fact in your own words. What do I mean by that is all of these questions here, you are restating the question typing the answer period at the end restating the question typing your answer period at the end for founding history description and present day if you're able to do that for all four of those paragraphs you will get three points each that means you have to answer every one of those questions in the research next are resources as i was copying and pasting your guys's um reports into the new report um, section on the Google Classroom, I noticed that maybe like three to five fourth graders actually wrote the resources correctly. So please pay attention to this part. At the bottom of your research page, I tell you exactly how to correctly cite your sources that you used. You write the name of the actual website where you found your information, such as social studies fact cards, comma, and then you write the heading of the website, such as Mission San Diego de Alcala, comma, and then the third part of citing your source is the URL address, which is the blue URL address you can find at the top of the page. So for example, Right here, I write the title, Social Studies Fact Cards, and then the heading, Mission San Diego de Alcala. And then the third part is copy and pasting this URL address. So after you finish with at least, hmm, let's go back to the 
the uh, rubric here, at least three resources. You should be using at least three resources. Keep in mind, Google is not a resource. Uh, Wikipedia is not a resource. They must be from the resources that I gave you up here at the top of your research page right here. These are appropriate websites to use. Okay, so if you're able to list at least three resources correctly, which means website name, heading, and then URL address, you get three points for that. And finally, the format. The format of your writing should have clear paragraphs, including the headings and resources, a title, your name, and the date at the top. So right here, some of you left this blank. Write the name of your mission here, your name, the date, get rid of this. You don't need the essay prompt anymore. So just get rid of it. And then you should have the founding paragraph underneath the heading of founding, history paragraph, description, present day, and then finally your resources listed. Okay, so your assignment this week is to open up your uh, report. So you should have your report here. You have your uh, the title, name, date, founding, history, description, present day paragraphs, and your resources. And then if you scroll down, you should have an entire page just for your rubric. So you are going through, just like I explained, each of the three point columns and coming up here and editing and revising your work. So the first column was correct spelling, correct use of nouns and verbs. So when I come up here to my uh, types report, I see that some things are underlined in blue. You should not have anything underlined. So if you have anything underlined, go ahead and click on that and figure out what the problem is. So I notice San Diego is underlined here. So I'm gonna double click and see, oh, San Diego is a place that's a proper noun. So I need to capitalize San Diego. I'm gonna come over here to chore. Hmm, I wonder why that's underlined, chores. So this is an example of nouns and verbs used correctly. The Native Americans had many chores. I'm talking about many Native Americans, so this needs to be plural, chores. When I come down here, I notice that this is underlined. So I wanna capitalize San Diego de Alcala because that is the name of the mission. So go through your entire report Make sure that you have all of the things capitalized that are proper nouns, such as names of people, names of your mission, specific places, first letter of sentences. Also make sure that you are um, not writing run-on sentences or fragmented sentences. So if I scroll back up, you'll notice that here's my first fact for founding. That is restated and answered with a period at the end. San Diego de Alcala Mission was founded on July 16, 1769. And then every single question on my research, I restated and answered with a period at the end. So what you can do is you can go through each three point column and let's say I have correct spelling now, I have correct use of nouns and verbs. I'm going to click into this box and I'm going to highlight this box saying that yes, um, I answered all of this correctly. Just like that. So I can highlight the words or what I can do is I can fill in the entire um, box by using this little paint can right here. So you can do either one. So let's say I have some capitalization and punctuation mistakes throughout my writing. So I fix those and then I come over here and I go to the little bucket and I fill it in. Then I come down here to founding. I go back up to founding. I recheck my founding paragraph. Let's say it looks good. And then you fill it in. So take some time this week to edit and revise every paragraph of your report using this rubric at the bottom. If you use the paint bucket or you highlight things or you make it a different color because you're checking the rubric, that is totally fine. And I encourage you to do that. What I'm going to do is when I grade your report, I'm going to come in, I will be using a different color to grade you. So let's say you used blue, just like I did. I might come in and I might grade you using yellow. 
so that you can see the difference between your grade and mine. And then I will be putting a final grade at the bottom of the rubric right here out of 27 and highlighting your grade. I will resend the report back to you with some feedback on how to get a higher grade. But you shouldn't have to do that if you use the rubric. It should be completed and finished and edited and revised um, if you go through the three-point column this week. Okay, so again, this is the new mission report and rubric. Um, I also wanted to show you this important document here. A lot of you are emailing your projects to me. I do not want you to email your projects to me anymore. I want you to put them into this document. So if you open this up, it's California Mission Project. The directions are to take photos of your mission project. So if you built a mission, if you made a poster, if you made um, a diorama, anything like that, you're going to take as many photos as you would like of your project. And you're going to upload those photos to this document so that I can see your project and then I will give you a grade from this project from this document right here. Um, if you um, wrote out recipes, for example, you can copy and paste those recipes into this document or just type them straight here. If you made a Google slide presentation, that is the only exception. That Google slide presentation, you will just share that directly with me so that I can grade it from there. Okay, so one last time. This document here, you are not going to use these documents anymore unless you need to look at your mission research. That is the only document from the three right here that you're going to use. You are not going to type your mission report into this document. You type your mission report into this document. You will not email me your mission project. You put your pictures into this document right here. If you have any extra questions about that, feel free to email me um, or get on class Zoom times and I will help you out from there. Good luck.